Uh, in this video we're going to look at creating a very simple controllable MQTT sensor simulator uh, with Python. Now the aim of the project is to create a very simple two-stage sensor that can be controlled externally using MQTT. Now, the sensor can be used to simulate real-world objects like lights, doors, etc. Anything that's got two states on or off, open or closed, in IoT slash MQTT projects. Through a sensor, the states are going to be on and off or open and closed. Now, currently, real-world objects like light bulbs uh, are controlled by a switch, and there's no feedback mechanism uh, when you turn the light on other than the obvious that you actually see the light coming on obviously if you're in the same room where you switch the light on uh, someone in another room wouldn't actually know the light was actually switched on so they wouldn't know the state of the light now because IOT light bulbs or smart smart home light bulbs will be controllable from anywhere they can be controlled across the internet then the state of the bulb state of the light should be available from anywhere so it's important that you know the state of the sensor or the device that you're activating. Now MQTT is ideal in this scenario as it allows the sensor to be controlled from multiple locations and using multiple clients and each one can be aware of the actual state of the device or the sensor. Now the way it works is the sensor subscribes to a control topic and then it sits in, in a loop publishing its current state and waiting for a command. Now the commands it accepts are on and off and open and close depending on how it's set to function whether it's going to function as a door sensor or as a light center sensor sorry now all other commands are ignored and the commands themselves are not case sensitive the sensor changes its state according to the command and then publishes its current state it publishes straight away its uh, its new state the sensor can be configured to operate in what i call chatting mode where it publishes data at regular intervals and it can configure to be operating non chatty mode where it publishes data only when the status has changed. And also by default the sensor will publish data on uh, every five minutes. This is a kind of keep alive interval that basically tells you that the sensor is, is still there. However you may want, actually want to disable this because I recently added a, a connection status uh, topic to this so it actually publishes its connection status and you can tell whether the, the sensor is active or, or not even though it's not publishing any data. Now the topics used are the topic prefix and you can set that um, and the sensor name. Uh, topic prefix sensor name control this is used to control the state of the sensor so you send it a control command on that topic and topic prefix connected sensor name this is a this is used to indicate the connection status a zero is disconnected and the one is connected and the way that works is simply when the sensor is active it publishes to that topic and it publishes one to the topic and when it disconnects or before it disconnects it publishes the status of zero so you can scan that uh, topic uh, topic prefix connected and the sensor name and you can find out whether the sensor is actually active or not active the sensors can be started, for, or they should be started really from the command line and you can pass the sensor name to it, the topic prefix, the broker address, the broker port, uh, switch to say chatty or not chatty, verbose, uh, the sensor type, by default it's light, uh, publishing on and off, but if you uh, set it, it can be function as a door, publishing open and closed. And the publish interval, which is set to 10 seconds by default if it's operating in chatting mode. If it's not operating in chatting mode, then it only publishes any changes. If you start it from the Python IDE, you will create a, a random sensor name. And the sensors, regardless of where you start it, publish with the retain message, message set flag set to true. Now, this is very important. Now, it's important because um, if you're in non chatting mode, only publishing changes, and it you might only change once a day then anyone subscribing to that sensor data should know the the latest status of that sensor uh, which it will get with the retained message now to control the sensor you can use any MQTT client that can publish messages that you can use the MQTT lens client and the MQTT dashboard client which is an Android app to do it now I use and I will use in the example the mosquito publish tool 
but this tool is only available if you've installed the Mosquito Broker. So if you haven't, then you'd probably be better off using one of the other tools, the MQTT Lens Client or the MQTT Dashboard. Let's have a look at some example uses. Now I start the script with uh, these two lines using the hash shebang. And this one here is if you're running on Windows. And this one here is if you're running on Linux. Now, you just need to move the appropriate one to the top. So if you're using you're using Linux, then you use it, move this to the top. And if you're using Windows, then you leave this one on the top. Uh, you don't need to delete the, the other entry. Now, that basically tells the operating system or lets the operating system run that as a, an executable. So it means you don't have to use the Python simple sensor.py uh, usage, you can just call it using simple sensor.py. This is on, on Windows. And on Linux, you, you'll use Python 3 simple sensor.py or just simple sensor.py. A few examples. Now, I've changed this. If you look at the, if you read the notes earlier or the tutorial on the site, this used the minus B option. The minus B option still work, minus B for broker. But I've moved this in line with the Mosquito Publish tool, which uses the minus H for the host name. So this is Python Simple Sensor minus H, and there's the IP address of the host. Or you can use the name of the host that will work. In chatting mode, to use chatting mode, you don't need to use yes and no, just the, it's by default in, in non chatting mode. So it's only going to publish um, changes. Uh, to put it into chatty mode, you use the minus V option. You can set it to, or you can set the publish interval. So this one here, the minus I, will set it to publish every 20 seconds. To set the client name, you use the minus N option and the name of the, the client. Now you should always do this because then you know the name of the sensor. You don't really want a random sensor name. Uh, to use it as a door sensor, when it publishes open and close and responds to open and close, you use the minus S option. So the minus S, op S option switches it to a door sensor. To control it, I use the Mosquito Publish tool. And here we go, Mosquito Publish minus H. There's the broker. And there's the topic, the name of the client, the name of the sensor, control, and minus M, and I'm publishing on. So that turns it on. And if I'm using it as a door sensor, it's exactly the same, except I publish open there, or closed. Let's have a look at some example usage. So I'm just going to run it now um, with the name of the client. So it says it's only going to send changes, and it's published on census test client. Can send control to this topic here. Current states are on or off, so it, and it's published the initial state, which is off. So if I bring in my control here, and I'm going to publish here on and lowercase. And if I go back to my sensor, you can see it's updated its status to on and published its state on. Now, it makes no difference whether I use upper or lowercase. And let's turn it back off again. And you can see it's turned off. Now, let me just publish an invalid message. You can see it receives it, but it doesn't actually update its status because the it's an invalid command. So to stop it, just control C and we'll run it again. And this time we'll use verbose mode and we'll set the interval for two seconds. And you can see there it's publishing every two seconds. It's still controllable, it makes no difference. We can still turn it off, or sorry, turn it back on. And now it's publishing on. Okay, that's it working. Let's just go quickly through the Python code. This is the actual Python code. And I've made changes to the code from previous versions. And now everything is in the, a single file rather than having some of the functions in, in an auxiliary file, a functions file. So it's all in one now. So if you've got the old version, then I recommend you go and download the, the newer version. Anyway, the, the main loop is right at the bottom and it's in a try block. And this is the bit that handles the connection 
and reconnection so if it does get disconnected it will try and reconnect and that's there now I use a, a flag if this flag is set then basically it doesn't execute any of this if the flags not set then it goes and tries to connect to the client now the subscribe part of the operation is done in the on connect so when it does connect the on connect function handles the subscribing to the topics and if it is connected then I can publish and I just go and publish the status here now it doesn't the publish status function basically checks the time and it checks whether it's been set to publish uh, the interval is set to publish and it only publishes on that interval now this loop is running continuously and any changes made to the status will be published straight away but if we go to the top of the script the on message callback this is what receives the command it passes it off to the the message ha message handler and it checks if it's the control topic if it's a control topic then it goes and up updates the status of the sensor and there's the update status function and a quick check to make sure it's valid the status that the command is saying is valid and if it is valid then it actually up the updates the the sensor status and it prints a message you can comment that out if you want to and here's the publish status function which is called in the main loop and it basically checks that the the times are right and it looks at the the interval it looks whether it's chatty or not chatty before it decides whether it's going to publish or not if I scroll back up to the on connect function which is called when the the broker sends the on uh, the connection acknowledge message then here it publishes to a topic the connected topic and say we can scan that topic to see where the clients connected and we'll see right at the end that we do the opposite and we actually publish a value of zero which indicates it's not connected so this the value of one indicates the uh, sensor is connected and then we subscribe to the the topics and let's go right to the bottom and you can see at the bottom I publish a value of zero which basically tells the anyone scanning the for the for the sensor there has been disk this is the connect function which handles the connection and it will keep attempting to connect and if it fails then it will delay a little bit and try and con uh, uh, connect again the run forever flag here basically says just keep going and keep trying to connect but generally you want to give up so if the band count flag is greater than three so if it's had three attempts and it doesn't connect then usually you quit so it returns minus one and you can determine then to to quit the program wait for function here now this handles the connection acknowledgements okay that's all I want to talk about on the um, on the script uh, you can find more in information in the uh, tutorial on the website so that's the end of the video if you've got any comments then please leave them below if you like the video then use the like button below and if you want to be notified of uh, new videos uh, then you can always subscribe to the channel I'll put links to the download script and to various other tutorials and videos in the description below. Until next time, bye.